three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody and welcome back to Mission Control for another Quick Tips video. In this video we're going to talk about using a tablet as a remote. Using a tablet computer such as a Surface Pro or other tablet capable of running Windows 10 64-bit is a great way to have a super remote using a simulator on the tablet and a wireless network. Tablet requirements must be capable of running Windows 10 64-bit. The closer you are to the specs of Titan, the happier you will be. An i3 or i5 processor will work, but maybe a bit slow. 802.11 AC spec wireless is the best. Nothing slower than 802.11 N. Must have an editor key, AVO key for version 12 plus, or a T1 or TT will work, but it's kind of inconvenient to have that hanging off your uh, tablet. The wireless router. 802.11 AC or faster is best. 802.11 will work, but can be a bit slow. One that allows you to set the DHCP range to any IP subnet is best, though not required. If using a full console, it must also have the Ethernet port and or switch built in to connect to the console. Putting the wireless unit at the stage side can reduce wireless drop issues. So let's see that in action. So here we have on screen, on the right hand side, we have the Titan Simulator running version 13 with an AVO key uh, connected to it. This is on my Microsoft Surface Pro tablet. Uh, on the left hand side, we have a Titan Mobile hooked up. And up top, we have the uh, full version of Capture just so we can see things easier. As we see here on the mobile, if we check our wirelesses, we see that I'm connected to the Titan Net uh, 5G wireless and the same thing on our Surface Pro. If we go to our system menu in each, and then check network settings. Uh, we see we have a Wi-Fi on both. Uh, we also happen to have an ethernet hooked up. Ignore that for this uh, purpose and pretend we only have the uh, Wi-Fi between the two computers. If I was using a full console, obviously the console would be connected to uh, the ethernet and then to my wireless node through the network. Uh, and it could either be set through DHCP or through static IPs, that's all going to depend on the setup of your particular network. Let's so go ahead and exit out of here. So, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and connect our Surface Pro here to our Titan Mobile. So, what we can do is go ahead and go into our disk menu and then find Titan Net Sessions and go ahead and click Sessions View. And we see here in our sessions, I've got the Titan Mobile. Uh, with its show file, it's loaded. I can see its IPs and its software version, and I know that they all match. So go ahead and click on it, and then you click Connect. And I can just go ahead and click as multi-user. And we'll give it a moment. And we can see now that all of the stuff that is on our Titan Mobile is now on our Surface. So any playbacks we were to fire, we see that it fires on the Titan Mobile as well as uh, as heads out to our actual lights. Uh, we could do any program we need to do. So say if we wanted to uh, go ahead and select our BMFLs here and we'll locate them and we'll go ahead and set them up on our lead singer palette. And let's say we needed to adjust that palette for whatever reason. So we'll go ahead and go to position and we'll just tilt them down a little bit. Oops, got a little crazy there. We'll say that that uh, would fix it. And then we could just record merge onto our palette there. So now, even if we fire the palette on our mobile, uh, we can see that it contains the adjusted information. So we have full access to all of our pieces of our software, unlike the uh, phone remote, allowing us to have full control over everything. Uh, we record playbacks if we wanted to also. Uh, we can simply just record or take our pictures, locate them, give them a color, a position, and a gobo. 
and then we just record that in fixture mode. We'll go ahead and use record that here. So that if we bring up our fader here, we can see that it works. And if we go to page two on our Titan Mobile, we can see that it is also here. So it's how to connect a tablet and multi-user to be used as a super remote. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe and join us next time. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.